good morning to everyone myself rafas samreen it hod in this semester i am going to deal with the subject data structures here before going to start what do you mean by data structure just i would like to explain what do you mean by data structures where you are going to use this data structures in real time applications right already you learn in first year some of the basic data structure just like arrays structures unions all these stacks you learn some of the data structures in c you implemented these data structures by using c language whereas in this semester you are going to implement complete data structure by using c++ language here in your curriculum the complete sub, uh, data structure subject is divided into five units here in first unit you are going to learn about what you mean by algorithm what are the al algorithm specifications and what you mean by recursive algorithm already you know what you mean by algorithm algorithm is a set of instructions right here what you mean by recursive algorithm what do you mean by performance analysis uh, how you are going to calculate the performance analysis of an algorithm what do you mean by performance analysis here see here time complexity and space complexity how you are going to calculate the time complexity and space complexity of an algorithm uh, uh, and asymptotic notations all these things are going to covered in first unit and introduction to c++ and algorithms here you are going to learn about what do you mean by data abstraction what is the basic concepts of c++ what do you mean by class what do you mean by constructor how you are going to implement the constructor how you are going to implement implement the class what do you mean by access modifiers here there will be no access modifiers are present in c whereas in case of c++ we are having access modifiers here how you are going to allocate the dynamic memory allocation here in c you learn about this static memory allocation here you are going to learn about what do you mean by dynamic memory allocation how you are, you are going to allocate dynamic memory allocation for a variable or how you are going to allocate the dynamic memory for a structure and most importantly here template topic is there. here this is very very important topic next one is the exception handling here already you know about the exception handling now you are going to you are going to learn the complete in detail you are going to learn what do you mean by exception handling how you are going to handle the exceptions all those things are going to be covered in first unit now coming to second unit here in second unit you are going to learn about what do you mean by arrays what are the different types of arrays here how you are going to implement the arrays by use as an abstract data type right what do you mean by sparse matrix repre representation of array and how you are going to represent this string as a abstract data type already you learn by using in c you learn about what do you mean by arrays and what do you mean by strings right here you are going to implement the arrays as well as strings by using c++ now next one is the here stacks and queues are there here what do you mean by stacks what is the definition of stack what are the applications of stacks where you are going to use this stacks in real time application and you are going to learn what do you mean by queue where you are going to use this queues what are the applications of queues here now um, subtyping is there how you are going to perform subtyping using c++ here one more important topic is there inheritance is there there will be here in c there is no inheritance topic is there now here you are going to learn what do you mean by inheritance what are the different types of inheritance next is evaluation of expression here evaluation of expressions are the applications of stacks and queues already you know that here there are three types of expressions are there infix prefix and postfix expressions are there right here infix means a plus b if the operator is present in between two operands then that is the infix infix expression prefix means if the operator is present before the operand that, that is the prefix expression postfix means here the operator is present after the expression already you learn these three things infix prefix and postfix now evaluation of expression means just here you are going to convert the infix expression to prefix expression or you are going to convert this infix to postfix or you, you are going to evaluate the postfix expression these are all the applications of stacks and queues these are all the applications of stacks and queues here after completion of the second unit you are going to learn about the complete information of arrays 
and you are going to learn complete information about the strings and you are going to learn about the complete information of regarding stacks and queues and you are going to learn about applications of stacks and applications of queues next now third unit it is very very important unit in this unit you are going to cover what do you mean by linked list now what here what do you mean by linked list what are the different types of list here single linked list is there single linked list double linked list circular list chain here you are going to implement single linked list double linked list circular list chain and what are, what type of operations you are going to perform on this uh, uh, list all next is here now already in second unit you learn about queues and stacks and queues in second unit you are going to implement this stack and queues in terms of arrays whereas in case of third unit you are going to implement this stack and queues in terms of linked list here generally already you know that list is the collection of nodes collection of nodes here each node is divided into two parts one is the data field one is the pointer field one is the data field one is the pointer field here already you know the concept of pointer you know the concept of pointer what do you mean by pointer pointer is a variable which is used to store the address of another variable for example int a is there here int a equals to 5 what does it mean here we are going to variable name is a you are going to store here at 101 memory location value of a is 5 so here 101 is the address of a 101 is the address of a here pointer is a variable which is used to store the address of a pointer is a variable which is used to store the address of a so here int star b star b is the pointer variable here we are going to store the address of a pointer concept is very very important while you are going to implement any any type of data structure you have you, you must know the concept of pointer right here in third unit you are going to learn about what you mean by stack here how you are going to implementing these stacks by using linked list how you are going to uh, implement the queues by using linked list what type of operations you are going to perform on linked list all those things are going to be covered in unit 3 next one is the important topic is hashing how you are going to perform the hashing how you are going to performing the hashing what type of hash functions are there here how you are going to Hash, how you are going to implement the hash tables all those things are going to be covered in unit 3 now in unit 4 in unit 4 you are going to learn about the trees what are the different types of trees how you are what type of operations you are going to perform on trees all those things are going to be covered in unit 4 what are the different types of trees here binary tree Threaded binary tree, binary search tree, B tree, AVL tree, B plus tree. All those things are going to covered in unit four. Here, I think in your in your curriculum there is no B plus tree concept is there. Here just B. Binary tree, threaded binary tree, binary search tree, AVL tree. Here I one more thing you are going to learn here. Balance factor. How to calculate the balance factor of a given tree? How you are going to perform the operations on the tree? And what do you mean by heap? And you are going to perform insertion operation, deletion operation, traverser operation on the trees. All those things are going to covered in unit four. Next one is the unit 5. Unit 5 is divided into two parts. First one is the sorting. Next one is the sec second one is the graph. Here in the sorting and in sorting and searching, we are having various types of sorting techniques are there. Insertion sort, insertion sort, quick sort, merge sort, heap sort, cell sort and table sort. Here all these different types of sorting techniques you are going to learn in fifth unit and you are going to calculate the 
time complexity and space complexity of the given algorithms and next one is the searching techniques are there there are various types of searching techniques are there but here in your curriculum only two searching techniques are there linear search and binary search how you are going to implement the linear search how you are going to perform the binary search and what uh, and you are going how you are going to calculate the time complexity of the linear search and how you are going to calculate the time complexity of the binary search and one more thing in these two algorithms you are going to decide which one is the best algorithm all those things are going to cover in unit 5 next one is the graph top graphs in graphs here you are going to learn what do you mean by graphs how you are going to implement the graph and what are the uh, what type of operations you are going to perform on graphs and what are the graph traversal methods here we, we are having various types of graph traversal methods are there here we are going to learn about bfs and dfs here how to implement bfs and how to implement dfs these two are going to learn in graphs and one more thing here very very important thing is the minimum cost spanning trees here minimum cost spanning trees means spanning tree is also one type of graph spanning tree is also one type of graph here how you are going to construct the minimum spanning tree how you are going here you are going to learn how you are going to construct the minimal spanning tree of a given graph by using prince and kruskal's algorithms prince and kruskal's algorithms are going to are very very important right with this five units are completed after completion of the five units here you are going to you are able to understand that how to implement linear data structure and non linear data structure and how you are going to perform the various types of operations on balanced binary tree balanced binary trees means avl trees right here what you are going to you are able to understand the basic data structures arrays linked lists stacks here next define uh, add necessary for solving problem based on stacks and queues what do you mean by stack what do you mean by queue and what are the applications of stacks and queues all all those things you are going to be perform here develop the solution using binary tree advanced search tree and here how you are going to implement the hash functions how you are going to handle the collisions all those things you are going you are able to perform and understand the various kinds of sorting techniques here you are going to perform various types of sorting techniques right this is your complete syllabus thank you